Ladies and gentlemen, Paul McKenna. to lose weight! Yeah! Who has had enough of dieting? Yes! Who has tried to, to lose weight before and failed? Yes! yes! Who thinks this might not work either? Yes! yes! <laughs> okay! You see, I know what you like. It's perfectly okay to be sceptical. I would be too. This system you're about to experience has helped a lot of people. You do not need to believe in it. All you have to do is follow a few instructions. In order to show just how much vision influences eating habits, we took a group of five hungry members of the public to a diner in London's Docklands. They have no pre-knowledge of the experiment, but we have promised them they'll get fed. Without exception, all five diners cleared their plates. On day two, all five diners are asked to eat the same breakfast, but this time, they got to wear a blindfold. According to recent research in Sweden, people ate 24% less food when blindfolded without feeling less full. It doesn't taste half as good as it tasted yesterday when I could see it. Feeling a bit sick, actually. After three minutes eating, I said, no, I have to stop. The nervous system cannot tell the difference between a real and a vividly imagined experience. So when you're vividly imagining foods all the time, guess what's happening? You're making your mouth water, you're cranking up your desire. Let's try this for an experiment, shall we? So imagine a lovely big chocolate cake. Let's put one up on the screen. There we go, lots of chocolate sauce on it. Now that looks good, doesn't it? Looks very appetizing. But what happens if you imagine maggots crawling all over it? <laughs> Suddenly, your desire isn't there, is it? Yes. Look what I have here. Oh, hey. On a scale of one to a hundred, where's your desire for that? A hundred. <laughs> is there a food you hate? Jelly deals. So if I had a big plate of jelly deals here, how would you feel about eating those? Oh, I feel sick. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an associational link to chocolate that's one of disgust. So let's have another big plate of jelly deals. And you know what would be even more disgusting? If we took the hair off a barber shop floor and sprinkled it on the jelly deals. That's it. Eat it. There we go. That's it. Go on. And stop. Open your eyes. Come on back out. Now, if I say to you now, only uh, a few moments later, fancy some chocolate? <laughs> no, but I thought you loved chocolate. Have some choc choc chocky. On a scale of one to a hundred, where's your desire for that? No. You, no. You, you sure you don't want to go and smell it? No. Oh, you know that melts in your mouth, that does, doesn't it? Oh, okay, so, there you go. okay, so you were using chocolate to make yourself feel good. Mm. I'm going to give you more good feelings by reprogramming you so you don't need to go and create those good feelings artificially with craving food, yeah? Who wants to share with me what it is that they've noticed? Yes, let me have a quick chat with you, madam. I've been eating foods that I haven't been anywhere near for years and years and years, but I'm concerned that I have taken it perhaps a little bit too far. H OK. Um, how have you taken it too far? Um, I have bought uncut wholemeal bread <gasps> and I have cut these <laughs> slices. We have a sinner amongst us. <laughs> and I uh, thoroughly enjoyed it, but I haven't. I uh, know. Uh, that's even worse. Not only did you eat it, <laughs> you thoroughly enjoyed it. I'd say, dear old Dr. Atkins, to turn in his grave. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and I've had it with butter mm -hmm. and yeah. a bit oh. of blue. <laughs> cheese <laughs> <laughs> and uh, mm. it, and it was lovely mm. um, you you sound like you're confessing to some indecent <laughs> pornographic act <laughs> don't you? Yeah. did it feel good oh. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. The brain is like a computer and it has its own software. And when we tap on various acupuncture points while thinking about what it is that's stressing us out or what it is that we're craving, we literally overwrite the operating software of our brains. Lots and lots of doctors use this TFT technique. I have used it with just about everyone in recent years, with internationally renowned athletes, with actors, with musicians, with royalty. And I want to use it with you. It's absolutely fantastic. I think everybody should learn this in school. It's, it's so, so powerful. It kills cravings and compulsions 
like that. What I'd like you to do is just make yourself comfortable, and I want you to think about something that you feel a compulsion around. So what I'd like you to do in just a moment is to think about your craving and then rate it on the scale of 1 to 10. Who's got one that's like an 8, 9, or 10? Yeah! That's right, that's what we want. Okay, so I want you to continually think about your craving, concentrate on the feeling of the craving whilst we tap on the various TFT acupuncture points. Ready? Everybody think about the craving and tap about 10 times above one of your eyes. Tap under the eye, tap the collarbone. Count out loud from one to five. One, two, three, four, five. Tap above the eye again. There we go. Tap under the eye. Now, take a new reading. Who's got a craving that's less than what they started with? Yeah, just about everybody. Isn't that extraordinary? I want you to imagine how you'll look when you're a few pounds lighter. Maybe even half a stone lighter. Imagine how you'll look, how you'll stand, how you'll breathe, how you'll smile, how you'll speak, everything. Now, I want you to float into that thinner you. Feel how much thinner it feels, and how much nicer, how much more confident, how much lighter. Before you started this weight loss experiment, you guys here, our studio audience, weighed in at 3,290 stone! Let's reveal how much weight you've lost. You've lost 80 stone, six pounds! I want you to know what that looks like. So here it is in lard. We had to go and raid Pavarotti's fridge to get that. <laughs> this was on your body. Hands up here, who's tried dieting before and failed? Yeah? Everybody, of course. Well, we've emailed everybody who's officially taken part in this experiment at home by registering their weight online. That's 70,000 people. And guess what? 80% have told us that they've either lost weight or feel more in control around food, which is fantastic. So, now you know what you need to do. Keep following the four golden rules, which are very simple. When you're hungry, what are you going to do, Go and Eat! And you're going to eat what you... Want! And you're going to eat how? Consciously! And then when you think you're full, what are you going to do? Stop! Fantastic. You don't need me anymore. You've got it. Good night! <laughs>